So, Bad Boys for Life is out on Blu-ray this week, and I just happened to pick up a copy of it. So let's get into it. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Brock Upside, a place for those who live talking by movies. And if you feel like you fall into one of those categories, go and hit that subscribe button down below. And also stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll be giving away a digital code of Bad Boys for Life. But... Anywho, as you can see here, I got myself the really cool 4K Ultra HD edition. Now, Best Buy did have a cool steelbook, but I decided not to get that one, because first off, you can't even go into the... Because at the moment, you can't go inside the Best Buy to pick it up, so it just kind of loses the magic of going to Best Buy to pick up a movie. And also, the steelbook artwork didn't vary that much in comparison to this one, so just got this one, so... Let's start talking about it. So, starting off with the box art, you've got Will Smith and Martin Lawrence with Will Smith's portion of the movie with some really nice colors of purple and gold, two colors. I'm a little biased towards a little bit of green in there. I just really like the color scheme of the slip cover. It just, it kind of reminds me of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum's 4K cover. It had kind of a similar color scheme, just really vibrant and really nice looking. And then the back side, you've got some description, all the technical mumbo jumbo you need to watch the movie in 4K, and a list of all the bonus content down below. So anyway, if we just take off Mr. Slipcover here. So then on the inside here, you've got your 4K disc and your Blu-ray disc. These are very nice looking, you know, they're not just basic solid black with white text on them. You know, they've got some Miami trees in there and like a you know, purple and orange color scheme again, and you got a green and yellow one here to properly distinguish the two, which looks really nice, you know. I always like it when they try to make the discs look a little bit exciting, you know. You don't have to go crazy over it, but just something as simple like that, I think, uh, works really nice. So, before we go any further, I'll tell you my quick thoughts on the movie itself. Now, I actually did do a full review of this film when it came out back in January, so if you want to see some more thoughts on it, go check out that video up above here. But basically, this was a really surprisingly good movie. You know, I didn't really get into the Bad Boys movies until this one was coming out, and I think this one might be the best of all three. It's got some great action scenes. Martin Lawrence and Will Smith still have fantastic chemistry to Together, but this movie also has a lot of heart to it and a lot of drama going on there as well It just really has a good balance in tones It introduces some new younger characters which you know You kind of feel like you might hate them from the trailers, but then you see the movie It's like oh these guys are actually pretty cool and them working together with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence It's like these guys work really well together And I definitely would not mind seeing these characters together again, which it sounds like uh, we might be getting because Bad Boys 4 is officially happening, so yeah, this movie was uh, it's pretty good. But anyway, picture and sound quality, the movie looks really good in 4K with the high dynamic range and this IMAX enhanced thing that a lot of Sony Blu-rays are doing. Uh, I don't really know what the full technical aspects of the IMAX enhanced thing is. You know, when I went to CES last year, they had a little bit of a, you know, setup demonstration for this stuff. I didn't like get a full grasp on it, but whatever it is, it makes the 4K look really nice with the richer colors and the deeper blacks and all the beautiful pixels you could want, and of course it looks good on Blu-ray as well. And finally, as far as the bonus content goes, well, there's actually more than I was anticipating in this Blu-ray. There's like probably at least an hour worth of bonus content, you know, few deleted scenes, a really short gag reel, but then they go into a really nice amount of detail with these like 13, 15 minute long featurettes talking about, you know, coming back to this franchise after so many years of, you know, just laying stagnant and just seeing Martin Lawrence and Will Smith be really excited to come back and work together and just seeing them have a great time on set with you know b-roll and things like that it was just really fun and you can just really see how much the new directors in this film and just everybody involved was really excited to come back to this movie and make something extra special which they definitely pulled off I loved hearing them talk about the newer characters you know the ammo officers and how it's like 
Yeah, like I mentioned before, these are characters you probably might not think you would like from the trailers, but then you find out they're actually really cool, have their own personalities, and they bring something new to this franchise, which I think is really, really nice. And on top of that, of course, they talk about the stunt work and how so much of it is practical and how much they really enjoyed filming these in a practical standpoint, not in front of, you know, green screens and using CGI to bring the explosions to life and things like that, which is something I always appreciate seeing is just, you know, practical action sequences with lots of stunt work. And overall, this was some really nice informative bonus content, which is my favorite kind. And uh, yeah, it's always nice when you don't expect to get a lot of bonus content but you get quite a amount of it and it's like yeah definitely worth the 30 bucks to buy this blu-ray now some longtime viewers of the channel probably know that in these reviews i usually give away the code about a couple minutes in but i decided to change things up a little bit so i am still going to be giving away the codes for this movie and other future movies as well but this time i want you to comment down below what's your favorite bad boys movie and why you would like to see this code so if you want to get yourself a free digital copy of this movie then go ahead and comment down below but anyway just to wrap things up so, those are my thoughts on the Bad Boys for Life 4K Blu-ray. And again, if you already make sure that subscribe button if you live talking by movies. And again, comment down below if you'd like to get yourself a digital copy of this movie. So, do those two things, and we'll see you on the Black Oops side.